<clears throat> hey there, we're back uh, in the retro. I'm going to spend a day or two out here. Last video I did, I talked about a little bit of a backup camera I got, and this is our first time to try it. Uh, got on the interstate. I've always been a little bit leery because I've got the extended mirrors on the truck, but they work okay, but if somebody gets really, if you've pulled an RV down the road or a boat or anything, when a <coughs> vehicle gets really close to you in heavy traffic, you've got kind of a pretty good sized blind spot. But uh, this thing for just 80 bucks worked out really well. Uh, hook it up to the Wi-Fi on the uh, phone and basically put the phone in a holder on your dash and I could see everything behind me all the way. So it really worked great uh, for the money and just peace of mind and knowing what's behind you is... Uh, worth a whole lot. I guess one of the common themes I always have is when I go camping, hiking, whatever, my hiking vids, or here in the RV, I uh, always try to come up with a thought or a theme, and this one's pretty simple. This is Memorial Week. We're three days removed from Memorial Day. And I guess the question is, where is everyone? Uh, the campground near our home is probably 60% deserted. Uh, drove by on Memorial Day and it didn't look to be just terribly full. None of the cabins have anyone in them. One thing I noticed after I got an RV was going down the interstate or the highways just seeing how many uh, RVs were on the road and just doesn't seem like there's as many as there were in the last few years. Uh, I know you can watch a lot of videos on YouTube and one of the common themes is the quality of uh, the declining quality of a lot of RVs and uh, travel trailers uh, etc so I don't know maybe people are starting to pull away I know I just don't see a lot of people and also don't see a lot of uh, new units there's you get on a lot of these websites and there's tons of them for sale is it a temporary thing? Are people pulling away from RVing? I don't know. You know, people... Are Talked earlier about uh, where's all the RVers gone that a lot of the sites we've been to this year have been probably 
56 percent full not anything to brag about one of the things you do when you uh, get set up we look out the windows while we're snacking I watched a guy pull in on a fifth wheel he's been working on it now for two solid hours just dropped my cap I don't know what his deal is, trying to get it dead nuts level or what, but uh, <coughs> told my wife if that were me, that probably rained my whole trip. I ought to be so frustrated that uh, I'd be unable to enjoy the rest of it. But uh, one thing you do learn is that when you pull into a RV site. It's just a lot of work. You gotta unhook it, get it level, relatively level. You've got to get your water hooked up, electric, get sewer hooked up and draining properly and takes a while then you reverse that process when you go home sometimes I I really think maybe the early days when we tent camped a lot might be it seemed like it was as hard not nearly as comfortable now don't get me wrong once you're set up and Got the air conditioner going and got a bathroom to use. It ain't bad. But again, I think there's sort of a trend that started the last year or two of uh, the whole industry and process kind of slowing down. Probably a whole lot of different reasons uh, I mentioned earlier truth of the matter is these units aren't fantastically made unless you got uh, a really expensive unit but uh, that's part of the problem and uh, I mentioned earlier in other other videos it takes a lot of effort to uh, keep them maintained and keep them going but uh, you just have to make the decision on your own. Is that what you want to do? And is that the way you want to travel and go from there? This is one of the beautiful spots here at the lake. Uh, we're here at the camp. A little pond down here. Always like walking down here when we stay here. Alrighty, we're going to hang around here a bit and go back, cook some food, kick back and watch some TV. Something you can't do in a tent. Talk to you later. Well, we loaded up and left this morning and the RV park was probably... 40%, 30-40% goes back to what I talked about the day before is what's going on, what's happening to people uh, but as I was loading up to go there's a little bit of a water leak coming right across the corner there across the floor and found out that you remove the cushion and the backrest and lift up the piece of plywood and the tank and uh, pump are located underneath the seat and I'll show you the fitting in just a minute that uh, was loose. 
take both the cushions off the uh, where you sit and then you'll see a piece of particle board with a hole there you can grab a hold of and remove and the valve was leaking was that one right there coming out of the uh, got your hot and cold tank and there's the water pump so it goes back to what I said earlier you learn something every day I hadn't really thought much about it but I guess the word I'll leave you with is Got a trailer, find out where your pump and connectors are, and going down the highway, everything vibrates and shakes loose. So, uh, probably once, twice a year, get in there and tighten everything up. One last note on this little uh, backup camera it said about 12 hours, and that was about it when we got home. It was down to one. Uh, one blue light so I've got it charging again so if you're on a multi-day trip then probably need to bring it in every night and uh, charge it up. Alrighty talk to you later.